What's up everybody, it's The Biz. I'm back again with another YouTube video. Today I wanna to talk a little bit more about advanced programming. And to do that, I'm going to show you my automatic water change as an example. So if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know that I have an automatic water change. Well, over the year, I've changed a few things with that. I went from uh, using float switches in a breakout box to using an automatic top off kit for uh, top off water. I've gone from float switches to optical switches and that of course has changed the programming a little bit. So I want to show you the changes that I've made and talk about some of the advanced programming uh, functions that I use with the Apex language. Now first off my auto water change consists of an auto top off kit from Neptune and two PMUPs. The Apex programming contains a lot of advanced uh, commands and programs. I use virtual outlets, which are a way that um, you can program a lot of different things. It's basically an outlet that's not connected to an electrical outlet on your EB8, EB832, or any of your other power strips. I use the defer command to defer when an outlet goes on or off. I use the win command that will tell you uh, or will basically do whenever something runs too long, you can turn that off. Uh, I use the on air commands to send text alerts to my phone. Of course, I use the feed programming in order to start things off and kind of time things. And I use the minimum or min command to say the minimum that a outlet can run before it runs again. So with all these additional advanced commands, I'm able to put together a system that is able to pump water out of my system and then pump water back into my system completely unattended. Now I wanna start off with getting into the programming of the virtual outlets and then the physical outlets and the feed mode settings so you get an understanding of the code and then I'll explain the entire process to you once we have all the code down. So the first thing that you have to do with this is you have to set your feed mode settings. Now with my water change, I can change how many gallons it's pumping in or out basically by a, a couple of different things. The feed mode and the time that that feed mode is on is one of those settings. So let's say that I want my feed mode to be one hour. You basically set that in the number of seconds, which is gonna be 3,600 seconds. So the next thing I wanna do is talk about the virtual outlets. There are a lot of virtual outlets, which once again, are outlets that are not tied to an electrical outlet on an EB8 or EB832 or any of your other uh, EB plugs. My first one I wanna talk about is VO underscore AWC. This outlet will actually start the automatic water change. Its coding is fallback off, set off, if feed D 000, then on, and then defer 61 minutes and then off. Once again, this defer statement is one of the things that you can use in order to control how big or how small your water change is. The next virtual outlet is VO underscore ASW underscore hold. This outlet basically stops the flow of fresh salt water until I'm ready to pump that salt water in. The uh, commands for this are fallback off, set off, and if output underscore PMUP waste is on, then on. The next outlet is VO underscore ATO underscore reg. This determines what mode my Apex system is in. And I kind of consider I have two modes. I have one mode that is the auto water change mode, which is only gonna pump in new salt water. And the other mode is ATO mode, where it's only gonna pump in new fresh RODI water. The programming for that is fallback off, set on, if output VO underscore ASW underscore hold equals on, then off. If output VO underscore AWC equals on, then off. 
if output PMUP underscore ASW is equals on, then off. If output PMUP underscore waste equals on, then off. If feed D zero zero zero, then off. Defer five seconds, then on. Now, of course, to make all this work, we have to have some real outlets. These are outlets that are actual electrical outlets on my EB8s, EB832s, and my other power strips. So pump waste, PMUP underscore waste. This is a pump that will send water from my sump up to my ceiling, across my ceiling, through the wall, and down into a drain in my laundry room. This is how I'm pumping the water out of my system. It's uh, the code is fallback off, set off. If output VO underscore AWC equals on, then on. And when on, and then this is one of those settings where uh, you can change the times depending on how long or how short you want your water change to be. Since I want this water change to go an hour, I'm gonna say when on is greater than 60 minutes, then off. The next outlet is PMUP underscore ASW. This is another PMUP that is in my water uh, barrel in my laundry room that I mix fresh salt water in. This will pump fresh salt water from that mixing barrel, once again, up to the ceiling, across the ceiling, back down into a different room into my uh, 180 gallon system. The code for that is fall back off, set on. If ATK underscore low is closed, then off. If output PMUP underscore waste is on, then off. If output VO underscore ASW equals on, then off. If output ATK underscore PUMP equals on, then off. If output VO underscore ATO underscore reg equals on, then off. When on greater than 80 minutes, then off. This is a command to where if this pump is pumping too much water, it will stop after running 80 minutes and shut off completely. It is a hard shut off. Defer 30 seconds, then on, and minimum time of two minutes, then off. What that minimum time does is that this uh, salt water pump will only run once and then it will wait two minutes to kick on again. And this is what gives one of the other virtual outlets time to trigger the mode from ATO mode into uh, auto water change mode. You'll, you'll see this in the coding. Now the last outlet I wanna talk about is my actual ATO pump. Its name is ATK underscore PMUP. And it does have kind of a long code, but here it is. Fall back off, set off. If ATK underscore low is open, then on. If salt is less than 33, then off. If output PMUP underscore waste equals on, then off. If output PMUP underscore ASW equals on, then off. If output VO underscore AWC five gal equals on, then off. Defer 10 seconds, then on. If feed D zero, 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 then off. When on greater than 10 minutes, then off. This is how I set up my uh, auto top off pump that if it runs more than 10 minutes, it's gonna go to a hard off and not pump any more uh, ATO water into the system. A lot of times when that happens, it's because my reservoir is empty or something like that. The next command is mim time 60, then off. This means it's only gonna run one time every hour. And that's it for the ATK underscore PMUP outlet. Now, of course, uh, I have to have some alarms. So in my email alert alarms, I have if air PMUP underscore ASW, then on. Basically, if this uh, salt water pump stays on for too long, it's gonna send me a text alert. 
And I also have the thing, same thing with the ATK pump, where if error, ATK underscore PMUP, then on. Once again, if there's too much RODI water going in, it's gonna send me an error with this code. Now let me show you how this entire thing comes together and works to do an automatic water change for me. So the first thing I do is I hit feed D. That is gonna go ahead and turn on VO underscore AWC for 61 minutes. What that's gonna do is pump water from my sump out to my drain. Now in order to get all this happening, VO underscore ATO reg has to go off and that puts the system in the water change mode and disabling all the ATO functions. VO underscore ASW hole turns on and that's gonna stop any new salt water pumping in until I pumped all the water out of my sump that I'm gonna pump out. Now PMUP underscore waste starts. That's gonna pump water once again from my sump to my drain in my laundry room. This is gonna run for about 60 minutes on my normal setup. After that 60 minutes, it will turn this particular outlet to a hard off so it cannot pump any more water out until I touch it again. Now, once that happens, VO underscore ASW hold goes off. This is now gonna allow water to be pumped from my water reservoir into my system, into my sump. So PMUP underscore ASW turns on and that continues to pump water until it reaches the optical float switch on my ATK. That is the trigger that will tell it stop pumping salt water into the system. Now, once that turns off, the salt water water change is complete. Now, if it pumps too long, I think it was 80 minutes, then the system will tell that salt water pump to turn off and it will send me an alert knowing that something may have gone wrong. It doesn't necessarily mean something's gone wrong, it just means it pumped for a longer time than I expected to. Well, that's a complete walkthrough and all the code required for my automatic water change. Once again, it takes a lot of virtual outlets, it takes a lot of real outlets, and some of the more advanced programming to get all this working in tandem so I can have a literally a one button water change. So far so good, it's worked out great for the last year. I have not had any problems. It's very reliable. I can kick this water change when I'm at work and by the time I get home and everything, the system is fine and there's no problem. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any complex Apex programming or would you like to increase your abilities with the Apex through this advanced programming. Like always, happy reefing YouTube and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I update any of my videos. Take care.